You, this is Shane Seven One Seven here. Today, I'm going to be having a look at the Masters of the Universe Origins Scareglow action figure. I picked this figure up at my local comic and toy store locally. Um, I think I got him. It's probably been two or three months ago. I had him had him sitting around, and I thought I'd do a uh, review. On the back here, it has uh, like a little read-up thing on him. Uh, it just says a walking horror from a different dimension. Scareglow radiates fear and terrifies his victims. And as you can see, there is the other, some of the other figures in this wave. I'm uh, needing to get many faces in my collection. I don't have Trap Jaw either. And as you can see, this little thing here, kind of his gimmick, uh, place Scare Glow under a bright light. His skeleton glows in the dark. That's a really cool thing. It reminds me of the old uh, 80s uh, card backs on the back. They always had some kind of gimmick or weapon with them. This is a, uh, I guess, a good alternative if you never... I was uh, collecting, and I still do, the um, Classics figures. The Mattel Classics figures, but I can't uh, ever find um, Scare Glow without paying an outrageous price for him. So I went ahead and picked this one up. He looks uh, more like the original one anyways. Original 5.5 inch uh, figure from the 80s. I hate to uh, open this figure. It's a cool design for the uh, package and I don't know just the way it looks it reminds me of the original one and there is the price this was like I said probably three months ago what he was uh, going for but uh, I'm sure there's going to be some people price gouging right now especially on Amazon and eBay So he comes with um, the slide out tray, just like any other action figure, ni nicely packaged in here. First of all, I'd like to uh, point out he has a little mini comic, Double Trouble. I'm glad to see these uh, in there, like the uh, 80s figures as well. It's definitely a throwback to, to those. Some really good artwork in them. And just like the um, back of the package, you have figures on the back of this comic that have been out or are coming out. And this figure too, it came out, if you can see there, in 2020. He comes with his weapon, um, or his weapon comes with him, I should say, but um, I think you call that a halberd. But he has that, it's green. <clears throat> I think um, some of the original figures uh, had a special version of this that glowed in the dark. I think it was either gray or it gl glowed in the dark, I can't remember. And here is good old scare glow out of the package. I think so far this is the best figure representation of trying to upgrade him uh, like the original Masters of the Universe figure. I think I like him 
the best. He did a really good job. Um, he has this uh, rubbery plastic cape. It kind of feels uh, it feels rough, kind of like they tried to make it like material. And as far as his articulation goes, his head, I will point out, is uh, pretty loose on this. I don't know why. The peg in there is pretty loose. And with, uh, like I said before in my other videos, these origin figures, you can uh, pop their heads and their, a lot of their pieces off, their arms, legs, torso, and you can mix and match them. And to compare him with some of the other Origins Masters of the Universe figures, I have Skeletor. He has that um, classic head that I got from the um, uh, Battle Armor Skeletor. Then I have my He-Man figure that I have the Battle Armor classic head on him. All in all, this is a cool figure. I would get him, and uh, especially if you're collecting these uh, origin figures, your Masters of the Universe uh, origin figures, um, I would recommend him if you can find him at a decent price. Uh, I think I didn't pay too much for him, but uh, I would say he'll be going up the price. Um, and also, he's a cool figure for around Halloween. I would recommend him. That's it for this video. If you like my videos, uh, be sure to like and subscribe, hit the notification bell, and until next time, be safe and out.